Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. Uh, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about functions. Uh, it's a very interesting topic. Um, uh, it's a little bit kind of uh, uh, we are we are going advanced. I, mean, I won't call it an advanced topic, but uh, uh, basically we have covered uh, quite a bit of stuff that we can now start talking about functions. Um, Again, uh, I would appreciate if you haven't subscribed this uh, channel. I would appreciate if you could subscribe to this channel, uh, Lanorama. And if you haven't become a fan of Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def page in uh, on Facebook, I would appreciate if you could become the fan there also. And as usual, I would appreciate if you could give me some feedback, any comments, uh, anything you know. Um, uh, about this these tutorials and also if you like these tutorials I would appreciate if you could basically click on the like but uh, like link on the um, uh, on on Facebook or you know the thumbs up button on the on YouTube uh, thank you so much so let's get started uh, so functions this is we have been talking about functions like for example we in our previous tutorials we have been using uh, printf right to print something uh, any kind of message okay any kind of message that you want to print uh, you could basically use printf statement to or printf function to basically um, uh, uh, to, to print that statement now uh, what what this is called is calling the function okay this this thing you know using a function is called calling the function so we are calling this printf function to do something and we don't know how it does it but we just all we know is basically it does something and what what is that thing that thing is that whatever f f uh, message that i give it it basically displays it on the screen okay so this is exactly what functions do and functions are basically a small piece of code you know a, a collection of is lines you know lines of code basically that allows it to do some small task you know some task basically so a program base it, it the definition is very similar to the def definition of a program a program also does some some task but function actually does a part of that task so functions are very useful and when you have something to do again and again okay and different par points in, in the program so you instead of writing the same lines of code again and again what you do is you basically create a function so that you have a common place uh, you know a, a, a single piece of code to do something a certain thing and then in different places where you want to do that you basically just call into that function and it will basically do that for you so if you don't understand this don't be confused you know we don't worry about it we are going to basically dis discuss this thing uh, in more detail and you will you will definitely understand so so how do how do you so that was calling the function but now we will learn how to define our own function printf it basically comes with C you know it's a it's a standard function it just if you are if you are working with C you basically have that function available to you to be able to to call it to print any message on the screen but now we will learn you know C allows us to basically declare our own functions or define our own functions and this is how you do it um, <clears throat> we basically uh, write the return type then followed by the name of the function okay name of the function okay these angle brackets they they are just you know they are just they should just say that whatever inside it you have to substitute it with something else you don't have to use these angle brackets okay and then parentheses these parentheses this is important this is part of the function definition and you will have to use it and then followed by the list of arguments and then bracket the parentheses closed basically um, and then this braces just like in any other C program and then statements statements you know did I write it right no okay and statement and so on statement and then finally close so you see how we group these st statements together into the function okay and this is called the header or prototype of the function okay 
and this is what you have to do you have to basically start with excuse me with any type I'm sorry with any type and then you need the type uh, the name of the function and then parenthesis start and then the followed by the list of arguments and then parenthesis close okay very simple so let's write something very quick okay let's write a function which all it does it is basically prints out uh, you know couple of messages okay very simple so return type let's not worry about return type for now and let's use void okay void says there is no return type and we'll learn about it what what return type means more maybe probably in the next tutorial because I'm, I'm running out of time there are only three minutes left and I don't think I'll get to that point and let's write the name of the function what would be the name of the right then you can choose any name you want okay but try to use the names which basically describe the 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 thing that the function is trying to do here we are trying to print some messages so let's write print messages okay the name of the function followed by the list of arguments okay list of arguments let's let's not worry about list of arguments also so we'll leave this empty so there is nothing it's optional you you don't have to have arguments okay okay so you just basically we'll just uh, you know leave them empty no arguments here okay you could also write void here if you want to okay and then braces start and braces close and we have to write whatever we want we can write here any lines of code okay and what we have to do we have to print some messages out what messages let's say um, print f uh, this is the information age okay and then print f pretty soon robots are going to take over the world okay don't get scared that's not gonna happen so not anytime soon anyway so okay so this is our definition of the function so what, what does this do it's very simple it just displays these two messages that's it so what how what do we do with this this is what we do we call this function this was the definition of the function we call this function as you know part of the of uh, part of our program so let's say we let's let's print some here something here print f about to call the function first time okay so let we see this message and then we call this function okay this is how you call the function you basically use the name of the function followed by any arguments to that function but there are no arguments to our function right now so we just leave it you know empty and then we print print f about to call the function second time okay and then we say print messages we call that function one more time and that's it very simple let's execute it f9 let's see what it does oops didn't like this because this is not a valid c statement f9 there we go look at this look at what happened here okay look at what happened here look at this it it always it starts with the main function this look at this this main is also a function if you know this it basically satisfies the definition of a function okay so it starts with the main function always the program starts with main function it doesn't start from here even though it is defined before main function so it starts from here okay so let's bring it bring this back up so so about it first thing it says print this message about to call the function first time okay so it says about to call the function first time then it calls this print messages okay and then print messages is called so the control jumps here and then it starts executing this function and then it says print f this is the information age okay we'll continue this uh, tutorial next time